What's going on, everyone? So, with Julie discovering the dungeon, and in the dungeon, it appears to be some type of just time warp, right? Whether it's a parallel dimension, um, she appears to be able to actually interact in the dungeon. Like, that's the key. If she was just kind of there, and it would just kind of seem like a vision, that's one thing. But the fact that she's the one that dropped the rope for Boyd, when that happened back in season two, it clearly means that there is some type of time manipulation. Whatever it turns out to be, whether it's time travel, like I said, an, an outer dimension, uh, you know, maybe Julie can manipulate time now. Could she go to different points in time, right? Like, is she able to enter the dungeon and, you know, how you saw uh, her mother and uh, Victor when they were in the tunnels, right? Like, let's say that her mother died in that instance, right? Like, would she have been able to go into that, save her mother and Victor and get them out before her mother would have died or something, right? Like, can't, how far will this go? But another thing that kind of came to mind when we got that scene with the, the time, because, look, I will be shocked if Julie doesn't go to that dungeon ever again, right? Like, that's going to be a big point of emphasis. Clearly, they're setting that up and establishing that for a purpose. Her curiosity, in and of itself, is going to lead her to there numerous times. But could we be seeing the current timeline of From differently than we originally anticipated, right? Because the original thought was, based on just the time we're in, that this was the current time that this was the present, and we are kind of going through these various characters and stories and all that stuff as they try to navigate the current timeline. And, you know, we've seen uh, Miranda and characters of the past. However, with the time manipulation and Julie entering that time frame, and the biggest key is that Martin recognized Julie which means that she had been there before or there was some type of interaction between her and Martin. So does that mean that no, it isn't the present time that we're actually watching this show from the past, right? So this show happened years. Now, look, I mean, even the dates of Fromville would make sense, right? Because this was 2020, right? So we're in 2024, and they're not in 2024 based on how the show and the series is lined up. So is it even just the real world time would make sense that that was a past instance, right? But you have like the reincarnation or what appears to be the reincarnation after the most recent episode, right? It is still possible that maybe, you know, Fromville uh, implanted these visions into her or maybe uh, Tabitha is just having natural visions of herself because she is... Um, you know, one of the chosen ones, but right, if she is the current version of Miranda, it doesn't really matter whether she's, you know, the reincarnated version or not, right? At one point, there was a past version, which was Miranda. Okay, so, well, you have these, these reincarnated versions, but here's the thing. Tabitha, her daughter, Julie, is the one that found and discovered that her, Marielle, and um, Randall were the ones that got that, you know, the music box curse or whatever. And now they're connected to that dungeon. And now Julie has the ability to go into that dungeon, essentially whenever she needs to. And there is some variation of time, right? So again, does Randall have that ability? Does Marielle have that ability? Or is it something different for them, right? Like, do each one of them have their own power? And if so, does that mean one of them become a bad guy? Does that mean, you know, Marielle kind of becomes evil at some point or Randall or, you know, how far are they going to go? Because of the time travel thing, it opens the door for essentially anything, right? A multitude of different possibilities, right? And to me, I don't think that we are now, I think time is just completely out of sorts now. I don't think we are in, we are seeing the current time as much as I did previously, right? Because now that we have seen that Julie can enter that time frame, right? Or that, that paradox or whatever it is, right? What, pocket dimension, whatever you want to end up calling it, right? The fact that she entered that and Martin revealed, 
there, there's clearly some type of time loop now. And are they forever now kind of stuck and trapped in this time loop? Does that mean that they could never get out, right? Because, I mean, you even have, like, Christopher and Jade, right? Like, and you have all these past stories, and Victor's trying to remember all the time in the past, right? Like, what if now they have entered this sort of infinite time loop, almost this Groundhog Day, right? Could this affect them ever getting out? Right? Like, what if they do get out at some point, or right when they do get out, it kind of just resets itself? Because Julie now can affect time in some capacity. Again, we don't know how, like, what direction they're going to go with that. And could you have, like, some kind of paradox or something like that to where, you know, time prevents itself from changing things and whatnot, right? Like, there's always that possibility, but... It, it at least is worth the conversation. It is at least worth the discussion because once you implement time travel or time manipulation or whatever, whatever direction they're going to go with the time, clearly there was time. She saw several different instances, right? Like she even relayed all the different timelines that she met or that she went and experienced and saw. So I don't think that that was just like her memory or anything like that. Again, the big key is that she was able to interact, that she directly affected and impacted a past event that we all watched back in season two. So, again, the fact that she can change things and, and interact in those timelines opens the door for anything. And now you could have these kind do you have all these kind of split off timelines? I mean, one, this could get incredibly confusing. <laughs> Right, if we're being honest, this could get uh, quite out of hand, um, you know, and, and could kind of get a little convoluted if they're not careful, right, how they kind of tretch going forward. Because, again, you're, you're adding this kind of this ability to potentially manipulate time. Now, again, is it possible that she can't change the outcome? Like, yeah, maybe she can interact. Maybe she can you know, throw Boyd the rope or she could tell her mom that she needs to get out or something or throw her mom something or something like that. Maybe she can't directly communicate, right? But she can kind of like, you know, oh, here's the, here, here's a gun on the floor so that way my mom can pick it up. But the end result still is the same. You know what I mean? Like, maybe you have something where she can directly impact you're not going to be able to change time because again, it's just, you have these, these characters that are, appear to be current iterations of characters of the past. So at some point there was the current timeline, so to speak. Right. And you know, Victor, he, obviously he was by himself for 40 plus years. So when is the point in which everything changed, right? Because you had Victor and Ethan and all of them, right? Like, and all the, all the sequences of the past. Well, as we're witnessing the time in which everything changed. We're witnessing the time that it no longer became the current timeline. And that is when Julie discovered the ruins and discovered that, oh, hey, there's a way that I can maybe potentially manipulate things. Because again, we saw her interact. We saw her manipulate that time. Boyd, if not for Julie, would have been trapped. And that was something we had questions about for, you know, the last year. Was like, who threw Boyd the rope? Because unless Martin just had that, you know, in his hands and he kind of just like, uh, and just like failed it or had it in his mouth and he just like spit it to, to Boyd or something, right? Like chances are, Something or someone had to have thrown that rope. So who did that? Well, it turns out that it was uh, Julie, which, again, affects all of time. Time is never going to be the same now because Julie now can enter this, this pocket dimension and change and manipulate time if need be, right? Now, how far can she go? That's the question. But she can at, we at least know she can interact with past timelines. We know that she can at least have some type of interaction, right, with various characters, because her and Martin have a conversation, right? 
And then she throws the rope, and she seemed like she had no idea who Martin was, but Martin clearly knew who she was, which means that she had probably been there before, which leads me to believe that it's probably some version or some type of time loop. And we are experiencing some type of time loop that is going to, you know, are they going to be able to get out of it at some point? Is it is Julie going to end up having to do something to get out? Does she even ever realize that she's in that time loop? Does this mean the people could never get out? Right? Like, there's a lot of different possibilities now because of this. But anyway, just kind of a thought that popped into my head that I wanted to have a discussion on. And of course, as always, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. So let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you agree with my points? Do you disagree with my points? You're kind of mixed in the middle. Do you think like, nah, like it's, you know, we'll have to wait and see, but no, this is the current timeline. Like I said, even if you look at the real world time, it's different than from build time. It's the past. So it makes sense that we'd be looking at this show from the past. Um, but again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let's me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.